improvement. We got a win today. Uh, 45-38 over Baylor. Texas Tech wins, moves to 3-2 and two on the season, and 1-2 and two in conference play. Um, definitely better than uh, giving up 52 points to Iowa State. I mean, our defense definitely didn't play well today. I mean, rush defense played well. Secondary pass defense, not too great. Um, we needed to uh, rush Griffin a little bit more, um, get more pressure on him, because he threw the ball downfield a lot to uh, Kendall Wright, and that's what hurt us. He had like 160-something uh, yards and a couple, maybe a couple TDs, but he did drop that one um, towards the end of the game that could have tied it up for Baylor. So, yeah, Griffin hurt us with his arm. Uh we did contain him on the ground, uh, like I said, that we needed to do, and we did do that, but unfortunately that opened up his passing ability, which he is a very good passer. Um, yeah, so Robert Griffin played well, uh, but Tech's offense played better, so I'm here to talk a, li a little bit about that. Uh, Taylor Potts, 42.59 for uh, 462 yards and four touchdowns. Um, that's awesome. That's definitely his best game so far this year. He did have a pick off of a tip, but that's what happens whenever they play zone coverage. Tip the ball, it'll get caught probably. They had like four guys in that area. That was just kind of a bad decision on his part as far as throwing in the traffic. Um, we did open up the running game a lot, uh, which Tuberville has been wanting to do all year, but it hasn't worked for him up until now. I think we had a 170, yeah, 173 yards rushing today. Um, Baron Batch, 95 of those yards. Taylor Potts had a huge scramble that uh, shocked probably anybody that was watching the game uh, that faked it to either Eric Stevens or Bar Baron Batch. I don't know which one it was, but faked it and just ran around the outside, almost scored. If he was fast, he would have got in, but they scored a couple plays later. So... Uh, yeah, Eric Stevens had a touch, a rushing touchdown. Baron Batch had a rushing touchdown as well as a receiving touchdown. Um, uh, Alex Torres, uh, kind of came out today, played very well. Um, his breakout game of the year so far, uh, two TDs, uh, Detron Lewis, 95 yards on 11 receptions for a touchdown. So Throwing to Leong earlier in the season definitely made defenses that we're playing against key on him. That opens up to the great receivers that we have. And can't key on one guy because we'll hurt you. Um, like I said, defense defense didn't play well today uh, as far as the secondary goes. Special teams, not too great either. We missed the field goal. And had a, for the second straight week, onside recovery, onside kick return for a touchdown that just can't happen I don't have I don't want to see Tech do an onside kick unless we absolutely have to I mean all right that was that return was all due to lack of awareness of what was going on all right Tech does a surprise kickoff that Tech obviously knows is coming they called it all right yes we didn't kick the ball 10 yards so it's a penalty but the ball just stops. We have three tech guys just standing around it like, oh, I don't want to touch it. We'll get a flag. I don't want to touch it. We're going to have to kick off again. Well, Baylor guy picks it up, runs it in for a touchdown. Um, yeah, so we need to work on special teams and secondary going into Oklahoma State or Oklahoma State will hurt us at home. That's how I feel. Like I said, offense played well today. Taylor Potts' best game of the year so far. And opened up the rushing game. That was huge. That that led to some balance that we had. So, 635 total yards. That's, that's what the Tech offense is used to. Um, big day through the air. Opened up the game on the ground. Definitely... Proud of what I saw from my team today offensively. Defense, need to work on some things, but we got time to do before Okie State comes into town. That's all I got for this video, guys. Guns up. Let's go, Tech.